Zeppi, and I'm the head chef of Restaurant Noma. Back then, in Denmark, uh, if you want to cook fine dining, uh, high gastronomical cuisine, it was French. There was no question about it. And I naturally uh, applied at a, at a French restaurant. I always believed that I was going to travel the world for some years and to learn more about French cuisine and then go home to Denmark and do my version of French cuisine. Suddenly I was in doubt. It's the way that, um, that I've traveled, the way that my life turned out to be, has led up to this moment. And opening uh, this place here in these wonderful uh, rooms, um, in this ancient building, everything just came together when I came here. I fell in love with the space. The, it was everything I dreamt about. I've been able to gather a strong team around me. Some of them I've worked with uh, since the beginning. Torsten, I probably spend more time with him than, uh, than most people ever. He is um, more than my right hand man. You know, we worked together for many, many years and he's in charge here. My name is Torsten Wilko and I work at Noma. I've been working here for almost seven years now and I did my tours in the kitchen and now I'm, my main focus is on the research and development side of the new dishes here at the restaurant. This is actually a dish we have on the menu. The cabbage is around a piece of fresh cheese, a broth of seaweed, a little bit of bacon. Bacon, cabbage and seaweed is maybe new classic. Here we have the ingredients for making the fresh cheese and it's milk, whole milk, biodynamic, biodynamic buttermilk, and then the rennet, of course. The whole process starts when I put this one in. Then we just put it into the oven and bake it two hours, around 40 degrees. After two hours, you see that the, the milk has actually set. It's early season for cabbages, so we have four, five different types right now. After the cabbages have been uh, prepped, so these here, the white cabbage, small white cabbage, needs to be blanched, 10 seconds. The other cabbages here, are so fine and delicate, they don't need any blanching. Sometimes we don't know what we're searching for because we're actually developing a kitchen here. Our main objective and our main task here at, at Noma is to have the guests feel a sense of time, which is the seasonality that uh, what is on the plate is the gifts of nature right now uh, at their peak and place which is where in the world are you you should actually be able to feel it that we uh, search out uh, our indigenous ingredients and the broth consists of water and seaweed. 27 grams of seaweed for one liter of water. In the back, you leave it to rest. Then you're actually going to steam it. So I'm going to put this one in the oven. So after one hour, open the bag and you want to strain the seaweed off. So you only have the liquid. We're just going to reduce it a little bit and then we're going to infuse bacon in it. This is salted and smoked bacon. So after a half an hour of infusing and slowly reducing with the bacon in it, the broth has turned more rich in color and taking all the flavors of the bacon. We have our broth, we have our cabbages. Since we are at Noma, we can't avoid using wild plants. Rocket flowers here, nasturtiums, and some cabbage flowers here as well. Add a spoonful and a half of the seaweed butter. Adding the crown dill into it so it can kind of release uh, the aroma of the cabbages we have here. Then we have some of the, the seaweed. We gently warm that as well. Stir everything gently together goes in in different stages. A little bit of salt on top. The fresh cheese needs to be scooped out. We don't do anything just for presentation. That comes second, I would say. What we do the most is that we do 
the flavor combination. Then the, the cabbage flowers, the rocket flowers here, and then table side the broth here with the bacon that we're going to pour on. We have cabbages and bacon, just in a more refined way, I would say. The hunters and the foragers, those are the ones that dictate what's on the menu. Then we use our imagination in transforming it, but, but they are the ones telling us what's there and that's how our inspiration starts. In 10 years I'm gonna uh, almost be manic in my work, never looking back, just constantly um, searching for new uh, things and ways of improving not allowing autopilot to be switched on here and there and everywhere. Eight years has gone and I feel that there's still many years of work ahead of us.